Jumped outside, goddamn, looking for Dan Calloway. This nigga done sent a uh, hundred foot soldiers out here, man. Facts, the motherfucker jumping me on Facebook and YouTube. Oh, God, y'all talking about these niggas going ham. You see what I'm saying? See, good. But Dan Calloway could send them little foot soldiers because I'm about to smash all the tribes, man. I just waved my hand like this, a hundred of them fall. You see what I'm saying? But as soon as I came outside, the motherfucker was so, the motherfucker was coming. Hey, they came. Good. Bring your ass outside, nigga. And I'm going to drop them. Then I'm coming to you, Dane Callaway. Because this shit ain't ever going to stop, nigga. This a beef, nigga. This beef, nigga. No, ain't this beef, nigga. The intellectual war, nigga. Just like I said, goddammit. But they came outside, goddammit. They had goddamn little hatchets and all that shit. But y'all know I came with the power of Shango right now. These niggas, let's get it. Right now. Uh, these niggas be coming up with dates, right? Talk about some 1828, the copper colored people. The copper colored people. Just because you could say, see, y'all don't get it. Just because you could see some brown or black people over here, man. Right? That don't mean that that's us. Them little ugly ass totem poles ain't us. But we can show you the original totem pole. And it ain't made out of no raggedy ass wood. It's made out of stone. Why is Hey Rule at the top of the totem pole, man? Right? Have you ever, why do a TP look like a pyramid? Have you ever thought about that? And I showed y'all, they take mud mounds and carve it out of mud. And they stick Play-Doh on it. And then it look like rock. With, it's a beautiful skill, but them ain't big ass blocks like you see in Egypt. What are y'all talking about? So you trying to tell me, man, these little old pyramids, man, the pyramid of the sun, Oh, uh, what's his name? Uh, the one, uh, Muhammad, Ali Muhammad, I think. The little short black dude. He always be saying that the pyramid of the sun is bigger than Khufu. Nigga, you stupid or something, right? You stupid or something, right? Because the Khufu, uh, they shit ain't nothing but like 200 or something. And Khufu damn near 500. And when you just suppose, and I'm going to show y'all the photo, when you just suppose both of those pyramids, Khufu shit look like two compared to the Pyramid of the Sun. And the Pyramid of the Sun ain't nothing but damn near, what, a thousand years old? So I don't want to hear nothing about none of that y'all talking about. And then there's a sister over there on Facebook keep showing these stupid looking copper colored people. But they, and I ask the sisters, I say, why they uh, have straight in your shit nappy? Why do you got nine ether? And them motherfuckers got that damn dog looking hair. Straight hair like white people, nigga. I know it's black Indians. That ain't what I'm saying, idiot. That ain't what I'm saying. But if you go to Brazil, people that got more Indian blood than we do, they, say, they consider themselves Africans. Not, I talked to the brothers in Brazil yesterday. Brazil gang, I see you, baby. But uh, they consider themselves global Africa, baby. They don't consider themselves because they understand that they are African people. They've been brought to this land, and that's why they got Indian blood. You see what I'm saying? The Spanish rape deal, man. So our brothers and sisters down there in Dominican Republic. Now, I, I talked to a brother from the... He ain't no brother. He a white man. That... But he born in the Dominican Republic. But I told him, I was like, I was like, yeah, you down there with my people. He was like, yeah, 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 yeah. He was like, yeah, yeah. So he was dropping the science. He understand that his people come from Spain, man. He not really from the Dominican Republic. He not an African. The Dominican Republic is African. You understand me? Both sides, man. Both sides, man. You see what I'm saying? But you ain't got to tell Haiti that. They know that. You understand what I'm saying? But y'all niggas keep coming up here. Talk, the, I'm particularly talking about the blacks in America because they got an identity crisis, man. And they don't try to latch on to this. Because when you do, that's why they say DNA fake. Because when you do the shit and you look at the African Americans, you will see uh, Sudanese, uh, Ghana, uh, Benin. You will see... Uh, 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 Kenya, you see what I'm saying? You will see all those African names on the DNA chart. And then 
you will get and you will say uh Scottish because that's the white people from Scotland. And how do I know that? Cause uh the white people from England that's in my family, they Scottish or wherever the hell they from. They because they last name Scotton and there's some black Scottons. You understand what I'm saying? So, and then another thing, because I'm then I'm gonna get back to when they own the slaves and shit, don't forget you took on uh uh the name of who owns you. You see what I'm saying? Or who owns you? So say if my name Brown, it's a white family named Brown that owned my people. How do I know that? Because the people that owned my grandmama now got the same name, last name as my grandmama now. And they live right around the corner. And one of them was my actual teacher. And this is how she came up. She a white woman. She was like, uh, she said my last name or whatnot. She was like, um, uh, you know we family, right? And at this time, I'm like in 11th grade. About 20 years later, I go to the bank one day. She a bank teller. And then and then she was like, uh, did you ever uh think about what I told you? And I immediately knew from the, the uh, 20 years later without or 15 years later when I was in the, I immediately knew what she was talking about. And then I because at that time I understood. Because one night I was riding, I'm gonna get back. I was riding, right? And the police pulled me over. But the police pulled me over had the exact same name I had. You understand me? We got the exact same name. And he immediately knew who I was. He knew my family. And I was shocked, nigga. I thought I was fitting. But I was going to a hotel with these girls and shit. I was about to. I had two of them, too. But so uh, he let me go. You see what I'm saying? And guess who it was? It was my that the teacher's brother. Okay? Okay. The, so why don't y'all see we connected to the white people? You see what I'm saying? And the Indians. But the white people forced themselves in. And uh the Indian part is because certain Africans was cool with the Indians. You see what I'm saying? Was cool with the Indians. And, you know, it ended up maybe married into Indian, the, the little Indian blood or whatnot. That's why them people got straight hair, okay? Okay. Now, I'm at war with the black Indians, man. Period. Period. Because you ain't going to try to talk. And, you know, y'all will be proud of this, this little old part of our history. Instead of that, the giant history, it's so much history in Africa. It's like, I, maybe y'all are not really studying. Did y'all ever study Africa? Or did y'all just immediately jump on the Omax and just stay there? I used to be on the Omax. I, st I still study that. But it ain't nothing but a little old piece. And after a while, how can I keep? I have to keep buying all these different nigga books and shit. And then they all saying the same thing. So the history has not been advanced. Why don't y'all go down to Mexico and start digging? So we can advance that part of the history. But until then, until we get some black archaeologists to go down to Mexico and advance that part of black history, shut up. Dane Calloway, all y'all, shut up. Shut up, please. Because until y'all do that, that's going to be just a minute. You can't act like that's greater than African history, nigga. See? Show me something that the Omex wrote, bro. What? Where the, info, where the rest of the information at? Okay, then. Y'all can't even answer them questions, family. Y'all can't even answer them questions. See what I'm saying? But we know by the haplo groups, by the culture that we use today, motherfucker, be pouring out 40s. Don't know that that libation come from West Africa. You see what I'm saying? When people die in West Africa, they be over there pouring out liquor for the homies, nigga. Y'all don't understand that y'all never studied Africa, yeah, especially not West Africa. So you think we just know about Kemet and e uh, Ethiopia and shit. Nah, nigga. Nah, nigga. We got the history of West Africa. I taught y'all about Abu Kari. But we got the actual manuscripts of Abu Kari. Not motherfucking just hearsay and shit like that. Who came to the America, Americas with 2,000 ships, nigga. 
gold on it. And we got the photos of the Africans on goddamn 40 foot barges and y'all coming to the goddamn West. What is y'all talking about? Show me the Mayan ships. We at least can show you everything we saying. But stick around. I'm on y'all niggas all day. It's beef, nigga. What dang Callaway at? Nigga, I just leveled about 2,000 Indians. All the goddamn Yamasee and Cherokee and Black Feets and shit. I done got them Aborigines and shit. And I, I like to, I know the Africans in Australia and the South Pacific. Them is African people. Go look at the, uh, the, uh, the Baka tribe over there in Southeast Asia and shit. And see what they say. They say that they Africans. You see what I'm saying? And they black with uh, uh, Afros and shit. They ain't saying that they from over here. Bitch, we from Africa. And y'all know Renoko Rashidi teach that shit all the time, man. But I got something for y'all. Jump power. I'm coming right back. Ooh, pop, 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 pop. This ain't no game, nigga.